Good morning. This is Wednesday morning, and um, I just wanted to give you a start to the new year. I thought about this a lot, and when I wrote the Wednesday prayer yesterday, and by the way, I'm sorry it didn't get posted when it should have this morning. Jerry didn't tell me he was out of town until this morning, and he apologized, so Carol will get it up sometime later today. But what I what I spoke about is something I think that has been heavy on my mind over the weekend. Um, there are a lot of things that have come up this year for me, and I think a lot of us, um, that we maybe never intended to have come up because we didn't want to face it or we didn't want to go through what it would take to get over it. And so... I, I just felt that what I needed was a blank slate. And I thought about, well, how, how am I going to go about doing that for the new year? And I thought about all the things that came up this year for me. And I came, came up with the idea that there is only one way that any of this was going to work. And that was if we had a blank slate and in order to do that, we had to let go and we had to let go in a big big way we had to let go of expectations and we had to let go of our drama we had to let go of those stories we tell in our head those tapes we keep playing over and over again that have never really necessarily served us well the judgments we have the things that we've done that we wished we hadn't done um and all the choices that you might have made that weren't the right ones or control that you wish you had or having control and wish you didn't, whatever it is, all of those things just need to be let go. And I found this this morning. It's on the Course in Miracles Facebook page, but I thought this really fit. Trials are but lessons that you failed to learn presented once again so that where you made a faulty choice before you can make a better one. And you can't do that unless you let go. So what I would like to do this morning is to take you on a journey of letting go. And I've been thinking about this for a couple of days. And on my walk this morning, I finally figured out exactly how I was going to do this. So buckle your seat belts, close your eyes, Breathe deeply and let's go on a trip. Holy Spirit is with us. God is always with us. But God has led us to this big, empty parking lot and this empty parking lot is not paved it's dirt and it's called the blank slate parking lot and you go into this parking lot and you see this beautiful beautiful balloon i don't know if any of you have ever been in a hot air balloon but they're really noisy. But this balloon didn't seem to be making noise. And the air was in it. And it looked like it was ready to go. So you're being led to this balloon. It has a rainbow on it. You just know getting into this balloon will just make you the happiest person. That you could float in the air with not a care in the world. And you get into this balloon. And God gives you instructions. And says to you. You cannot go anywhere. Until you unload. That load you've been carrying. So he says, start unloading. 
in this year 2020 we have a lot to unload so first you throw out the 2020 everything about it that you didn't like the loneliness you throw that out the people you couldn't see the disappointment you throw that out the hugs that you couldn't get that make you sad you throw that out. Everything that you can think of of this year, you throw that out. And now, there's more. You know that drama in your life? Dump it. You know those resentments you have? Whether it's about yourself or other people? Throw it in the parking lot. You're getting a little lighter in this balloon. You know all those disappointments in yourself that you have? Get rid of them. Let them go. All of those things, one by one, you can think of in the silence right now in the next couple minutes. You think of them, you throw them out of that balloon. As you notice in this silence, this balloon is elevating. Your shoulders don't feel so weighted down. There are things that you're clinging to that aren't necessarily bad things, but good things that you compare everything else to. So you aren't open for your own good. Get rid of that clinging, hanging tightly to those things, too. Let it go. Each thing you let go, feel the weight lifting off your shoulders and that balloon rising, rising up off the ground. grief you feel for loss, whether it's of a person, a job, a lifestyle, a place to live, let it go. Just let it go. You notice the balloon is rising and there is no noise. That is God lifting you up. Out of your self-inflicted pain, out of your control, out of your stubbornness, out of anything that will hold you back to starting the new year with a blank slate. Just let it go. As you're lifting higher 
and higher. You should throw those things out of the room when you get into that blank slate parking lot with a thud. Realize that the expectations you have for yourself and how you feel about yourself that isn't positive. All that needs to go do. Throw away any of the feelings of less, less than or not enough. Because you are a child of God in whom he is well pleased. That is your job. That has always been your job. But that is what you carry into the new year. That you are a child of God in whom he is well pleased. And that is all you need to know. And as you're lifting higher and higher and you've gotten rid of more and more of those things you carried, Realize, realize that God has always been there, but you have placed the burdens on your own shoulders, and God has wanted to help you lift those off, and this is the opportunity right now. Throw everything out of that basket that's holding you back. Lift yourself higher and higher and higher. And what do you see? You see beauty all around you. You see a horizon that you don't know what's on the other side. But you know that God has got your back. And that everything that you get to see as long as you keep everything dumped out of that basket, God is there by your side, lifting you higher and higher with the feeling of freedom from all of those things that you created yourself. All God wants for you is the highest good. And Spirit wants you get, to get out of your own way and lift yourself higher and higher into the freedom of the lack of burdens that you placed upon yourself. Let them go. Let them go. And as higher and higher you go, that parking lot just becomes a dot. And as you float away, that parking lot of all that you've carried, of all that you've held on to, isn't even a dot anymore. It's gone. And you are floating, you are floating in God's space, centered, whole, complete, and perfect. You are a child of God in whom he is well pleased. And you are ready to begin anew. I'm not going to ask you to come back down to earth. I'm going to ask you to stay floating in the arms of God. Because that's what we're here for. And I have three affirmations. I have to pick them up here from my printer. I forgot to do this before we started. But these are the three affirmations that I had for today. 
with God, all things are possible. All things. And that includes starting a new year with a blank slate. With no expectations, with no limitations, with no burdens, just a complete blank slate. I turn my life over to God. I turn my life over to God. I turn my life over to God. And the last one, I give thanks for the joy of letting go. I give thanks for the joy of letting go. So what I'm going to ask you to do over the next 36 hours about, or 38 or 40, whatever it is, I'm going to ask you to keep this practice up. When something starts to bother you, go to the blank slate parking lot. Get in the balloon and start throwing it out. And then tomorrow night, when you go to the burning bowl ceremony, anything you have left over, you need to write down and be prepared before the ceremony starts. We were sent a piece of paper that you put in water that could disappear. Some of us didn't get it and some of us who got it threw the piece of paper away. So we've come up with another way and that is write on toilet paper whatever it is that's bothering you so it keeps you away from your blank slate. And then we'll flush it down the toilet. We're not asking people to burn things at home because it isn't safe. So whatever you have, let go, let go, let go. And start with a blank slate. Because 2021 plans to be a much better year than 2020. We may not know what it brings, but we have to trust and know that our blank slate will be written on by God with our help by letting go. Have a great day.